Hello friends, today I am here to try out a mini binder for the very first time and I thought that I would do it with my TXT collection since I feel like that is the collection that is going to benefit the most from me putting it into a mini, mini binder as of right now, especially with a new comeback coming up. You know, I would like to kind of know in what way I am looking to collect. And so, yeah, let's just try this. I already took a couple of things out just because I kind of wanted to just see in general how things would fit. And it's very good that I did that because I actually, because of that, figured out that uh, these bigger inclusions don't fit, which that wasn't really, so, well, not these bigger inclusions, these are photo cards, right? But like mini photo card sized things don't fit. And then also uh, the normal sleeves that I use do not fit or f like it's very, very, very tight. And I did not like that. So I actually bought uh, smaller sleeves to try today. And I just thought that, you know, we would just use this opportunity a little bit as well to talk about my collecting goals for 2023 as well. While I just like re-sleeve some cards and try things out. Um, I will leave a link to all the binder supplies that I use uh, in the description, but I am from Germany, so my mostly the stuff that I buy will be, you know, through German websites, will be available at German retailers, yada, yada, yada. But this binder is available at K-Town for you as well. And then there are pocket pages that are available on Amazon Japan that um, Melanie buys. And she always just, you know, buys them when she does a Naokyo or Bai order. So there's lots of different options. And I just had a little search and found everything that I needed for just trying this, right? I'm sure with time I will get my stuff from other websites as well. But just for trying it, I just, you know, got... All of these supplies from uh, German Amazon <laughs> and uh, yeah so this, it might not be available to you in the same way if you're from a different country but still if you're looking for something if you're just looking to like see the brand or whatever you know I will have everything linked down below. The Titan Shield uh, sleeves are actually the sleeves that I use in general. They are for me the sleeves that are the best accessible while being high quality with a very fair price um, and basically I knew that they had smaller sleeves than I usually use. I knew that they had these kinds of like Japanese sized sleeves so I just looked for those. That's wild. It doesn't, they don't seem that much smaller, right? But as I said, it's such a tight fit in those sleeves. So it really is just that little bit of a difference that makes it so that they fit and they fit perfectly and it looks so nice. Um, anyway, these sleeves, like the mini binder did come with sleeves as well, but I couldn't find if they were PVC free. So I, you know, I'm not going to use those. I might use them eventually for making a freebie and like business cards binder, but um, I don't really want to use them for photo cards, right? Uh, but these sleeves that I bought additionally, they actually have, you, you can put photo cards in both sides. So that is actually something that I really like. And especially because I have tried to set up my TXT collection in a way that is for a nine pocket. There might be cards where I just, you know, uh, they, I don't want to get rid of them just to make them, you know, all fit in this binder. And so it's going to be great if I can put some at the back, you know, very easily. So basically in terms of my collecting goals for 2023, which I feel like it has constantly kind of bitten me in the ass to talk about any sort of goals. I feel like usually something comes up where I end up like not being able to, you know, achieve those goals. Not because I don't want to or whatever, but just because like something else comes up. Like, 
I don't I don't even I don't know a good example right now but I know that I was talking about collecting a new girl group last year and it didn't end up happening because there was just so much going on with the groups that you know I was already actively collecting and then additionally I didn't really know which girl group I was going to collect but one of my goals for 2023 is to collect Le Seraphim. Um, I made a like TikTok, if you follow me on TikTok, Instagram, or if you see my, watch my shorts, um, which I'm so sorry if you follow me on all three platforms, you gotta see my short form content uh, three times. <laughs> but basically Melanie gifted me a Le Seraphim album for my birthday which was very very kind and just a very thoughtful gift because I had talked about wanting to collect them uh, for the past couple of weeks and that I've just really fallen in love with them and I've found it very very easy to fall in love with them. Uh, it was because of their documentary. I just found it quite interesting and I feel like it you know just made me get to know the members more and made me extra excited for you know the comeback at that point and then I just very much fell in love with Anti-Fragile and just that entire album. Why am I struggling so much with this? Okay, that would that would be my very first page. Oh my gosh, where was I? I, I loved Anti-Fragile and uh, this entire album. I've loved, you know, just like watching them perform. All of their award show performances were fucking amazing. And yeah, it's just, you know, I've been watching more of like their variety show content as well and like behind the scenes stuff and it's just I just the more content I consume the more I fall in love with them and I don't think it's ever been so clear to me immediately who my bias was as it was in the seraphim I fell so quickly for Yunjin I love her an insane amount um and so you know, I feel very strongly about like wanting to collect her as well. And so I don't know, it's just like been a really happy journey with them. So I'm really, really looking forward to just collecting um, album photo cards. I'm not planning to collect like POBs. I'll, I'm sure I'll collect extra cards here and there. But for the most part, I'm looking to collect just the normal album photo cards. I don't even want to get into the whole pre-order deal. And I feel like that's kind of like um, the biggest, I don't want to call it the biggest goal necessarily because there is, you know, I don't have that much to catch up with. So it's like not that big of a deal, um, but it is you know, it is obviously a big deal to like start a new collection. So I feel like it's kind of like pretty huge in that regard. I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do with these cards. Um, these are all cards that I pulled myself. And again, they don't fit. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these. Um, I've never quite loved them anyway and the size, right? But Again, I did pull them myself, so I'm also like, oh, I don't really know what to do with them. But for now, I'm just going to focus on the cards that do fit. And I do scream at myself too, because of these Japanese cards that I bought, just to be able to fill the nine pocket. <laughs> and now I no longer use a nine pocket. Yeah, but anyway, that's a pretty big goal for me. And then honestly, my 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 really big biggest goal this year is actually to just be more chill um and just let myself not be so easily tempted by all the stuff that gets put out there and this is specifically for 17 i mean i don't know i feel like it was just quite wild this first year of collecting 17 it was just very exciting and just very I don't know I just it's a lot I love collecting 17 it is so much fun to collect 17 um but I just you know after this first year which was fantastic I want to just calm down a little bit 
um, and I already have. I've definitely already gotten way better at not trying to collect every single thing. I just for this upcoming year in general, I just, you know, like whenever they have a comeback, I mean, there's al it's already happening, right? With Busok Soon, obviously I collect two members of Busok Soon. So it's already is starting where I'm like, okay, Leah, just focus on like what you really want. And, you know, for, I mean, I, I feel like even with Face the Sun and Sector 17, I was quite good in that I just got whatever um, pre-order benefits or lucky draws I genuinely really liked. But still, with trying to collect four members, that shit added up way too fast. <laughs> And so, uh, yeah, uh, I don't really want to do that again. Um, and especially, you know, I, I was able to go to a couple of concerts in 2022, but nothing super huge, simply because nobody uh, of the groups that I stand, nobody that does like really huge tours that have really expensive tickets came to Europe. <laughs> and so... Uh, I would just like to financially be ready if 17, for example, do decide to come to Europe. Uh, it very much looks like TWICE is actually going to come here for a tour, which I really want to see them as well. So that's another thing. And then with 17, I'm even contemplating potentially just seeing them in the US because I just simply don't know how much faith I have in them actually coming here. Uh, it's the same with TXT. They announced another world tour and it says more to come. And I simply don't trust the more to come to be your updates. And I honestly feel like I had a couple of phases last year where it was genuinely really dragging me down that nobody actually came to Europe and it like genuinely made me sad and I just you know I'm trying to just like not even have any sort of expectations so that I don't end up feeling sad obviously if TXT do come here I will try my very best to see them as well but again I don't I don't really have high hopes and so I don't really have high hopes for 17 either so I'm kind of thinking of maybe potentially going to the US to try and see them and I would rather, you know, focus financially on trying to see them live than trying to collect photo cards, right? At the end of the day, I care more about being able to experience things. And I think that, you know, we are still in a pandemic, but we do have more of these opportunities to see groups live. And I think I'm still kind of trying to navigate just everything around that. I'm trying to navigate just in general how I feel about like, you know, being in big places with a whole bunch of people, none of them wearing masks. Wear your masks if you go to concerts, y'all. Please, for the love of God. Um, but anyway... <laughs> I got into collecting during the pandemic. It became such a big thing for me during the pandemic. And so I'm trying to just like figure out, you know, how I feel about it now that it's honestly still in terms of like financially as a hobby, collecting is my biggest focus. Uh, it is the hobby that I spend the most money on. I know it's very uncomfortable to talk about money, but it is what it is. It is the hobby that I spent the most money on. And that was fine during the pandemic. But now that like we are able to actually experience K-pop things real life. Collecting is obviously real life as well, but I think you get what I'm trying to say. I really just, you know, want to be able to actually experience those things but i can't experience them if i continue to just focus on 
you know, spending all my money on collecting. Not all my money, but you, you get what I'm trying to say, right? Um, okay, I need to figure out... I think I'm just going to put Subin and Yeonjun, the ones that I pulled, into this four pocket with the pre-orders. And then get the two missing Tays that I have and put them in with the Star Seekers card. I think that's actually going to work out. Wow, we love to see it. Yeah, but anyway, I know we're talking about collecting goals, but, you know, obviously this this is going to affect my collecting. And so it is something that I kind of just want to talk about. Um, but also just in general, I feel like I am getting better and better uh, at just focusing on what I truly care about in my collections. I'm getting better at just getting rid of stuff that simply doesn't bring me the joy it is supposed to do. The way I'm still struggling putting these cards in here, it's not funny. <laughs> um, and I would just like to continue that. And I feel like getting this mini binder and just trying things out is a huge step towards that. I feel like for these smaller collections, it's going to bring me so much more joy to flip through these small binders and especially with you know wanting to collect a new group as well I'm like yeah I'm immediately gonna start setting up uh Le Seraphim in a four pocket mini binder and yeah I think that that's just genuinely gonna help a lot to just take the pressure out of things as well um and, you know, obviously nobody but myself puts that kind of pressure on me. It's just me wanting things to, like, look aesthetically pleasing and, like, buying extra cards just so things fit. And it's just much easier to live that life with a mini binder. Apart from that, I think one of the things that I would really like to focus on in terms of collecting this year is my Chuhani collection. And this is an, a goal that I had last year as well. And you know, that, that's one of those things where like, it didn't end up happening because I was so focused on getting so much stuff for other groups and especially 17. <laughs> And like, obviously with 17, there was so much backlist stuff as well. But like, I'm going to be quite honest with you as well. There's things that I got in that early phase of like 17 collecting that I would no longer get at this point where I'm at now. Um, it's just the initial excitement of all these cards and all this backlist stuff that you can catch up with. And like, you know, like the cards being relatively, not all of them obviously, but like a lot of the cards are pretty cheap compared to some other groups that I collect. So there's so much excitement early on with, um, you know, a collection like 17 and you just get stuff that later on, you I did the same thing for BTS, so I don't know why I don't learn. <laughs> But there's just stuff that you get in the beginning where you later then realize, oh, I kind of only got this because like, you know, those cards were like cheap to get. And I don't really actually love those cards, nor do I love how these cards look in my binder. And it's very unfortunate, obviously, that I feel that way, but it is the truth. Okay, if you watch my videos on a regular uh, basis, you will have heard me say this a lot of times, but I just run out of storage on my phone. <laughs> so um, a little bit was cut off, but basically I just put in uh, the Thursday's Child cards that I pulled um, with this. These are all cards that I pulled. This is the pre-order and then these are the different versions. I all pulled these myself and then I didn't put in any sort of placeholder. I do want to get taste cards eventually for Thursday's Child as well, but I just don't know when. And if this last year has taught me anything, 
you know, uh, you can't really plan that. And TXT is a little bit uh, lower-ish in terms of priority with like, you know, backlist stuff. Like I have their albums pre-ordered and everything, but just in terms of catching up with other things, uh, you know, it is a little bit of a lower priority for me. And so I just don't know when I'm going to get his cards. So I'm not going to put in any sort of placeholders. I'll just keep this page. I love my polls so much. And I don't know, especially with TXT, my polls always mean so much to me. And so I just have my page of polls and then we'll see what happens. And then I put in this photo book card um, that I got once because I just love this card so much. I just put it in the back here because this next page is going to be deco kit. And I already sleeved all the deco kit cards um, in the new sleeves and basically I was just talking about how also if like it takes me another year to get taste Thursday child Thursday's child cards that's fine because it doesn't mean anything uh, I don't have to collect Tay to prove that he's my bias nor do i have to collect txt in general to prove that i genuinely really like them and i feel like that is a thing that should be so crystal clear to all of us and yet it isn't um and even you know if you just collect one member of a group it doesn't mean that you're a solo stand i feel like i see this on tiktok all the damn time that people call other people solo stands because they only collect one member and like y'all that's just not how it works and actual solo stands are just like terrible people who really are not nice has nothing to do with who you collect or what you collect or how thoroughly you collect or whatever anyway <laughs> So I was kind of talking about that and I was also talking about how I can't believe how much footage I was talking so much while not realizing that my phone was no longer recording but I kind of just talked about how it's also okay for certain collections to just be temporary. Uh, I talked about this kind of in the vein of like sometimes it's okay to get certain cards and then you really love them at the time but then later on you just realize that you're no longer really wanting that as part of your collection. And it's not even because of, you know, what I talked about earlier, where it's like, oh yeah, but those cards were so cheap and blah, 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 blah. blah. Sometimes it's literally just like, it just changes, you know, the stuff that you collect just simply changes. And it's completely okay for that to happen as well. And for things to just be temporary. And I feel like that's what happened for me with Itzy. I loved collecting Ryujin, but I was just realizing that I no longer really was motivated to keep up with Itzy's uh, like newer cards. And I realized, yeah, like collecting Ryujin was just a temporary thing for me. I started her collection at a time where I was caught up with everyone else basically. And so it just felt like a natural thing to do to start a Itzy collection because I've always really loved Itzy ever since their debut. And so it just made sense at the time, but I just got to a point where it no longer made that much sense. <laughs> and that's okay. And I just wish that everyone would kind of understand that that's okay. At the end of the day, you know, I always try to think of all my collections in a way where would I still be happy looking at this binder 20 years from now? And if the answer is no, it doesn't mean that I immediately have to get rid of everything, but it will mean that at some point I probably will. I think it has really helped me with some of my collections to really think about that, to think about like, okay, like you're going to flip through this binder, binder 20 years from now. What would you feel? And, you know, sometimes it's like, oh my gosh, like this means so much to me. I will be so excited to flip through this 20 years from now and just like remember how I, you know, pulled this card and uh, bought this set and whatever. And there's others where it's just like, meh, meh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so much nicer. I feel like I was, I love the Deco Kid cards, but I was never quite happy with any of them. So 
this is very nice. I'm trying to think if I want to put in any unit cards. I mean, I could put them here. That's kind of nice. But yeah, I think the initial thing that I was talking about was, you know, my Monster X collection and how I feel like I want to focus on catching up with some more rare things. And I don't know if I said this in the part that, you know, wasn't actually recording, <laughs> but um, it wasn't my 2022 goal for me to collect more Juhani like broadcast PCs and stuff like that as well. And then just too much other stuff happened. So I wasn't really, I mean, I got some stuff. It's not like I didn't get anything, um, but I feel like I just want to, again, try and focus on that a little bit more in this year okay and that is my txt collection in a mini binder now i have uh these bigger deco kit things have postcards from um thursday's child and these bigger deco kit things and i mean these are never gonna fit into this mini binder i feel like but never really liked these anyway and then i have these um mini photo cards as well and the uh lenticulars from thursday's child this is funny because i literally got these because i wanted to fill up this eight pocket so i definitely have to think about what i'm going to do with those i know there are sleeves that do fill mini pockets um that do fit mini photo cards as well but i simply don't know if i want that like, I just don't know if I want that. And, um, oh, I just realized it would be so perfect if there was a unit page, a unit card from the deco kit of Tae and Youngjun, because then I could put that right here and I'll just put it in there without a sleeve. I'd just be like, fuck it, this is meant to be. But it's not. <laughs> um, anyway, I, okay, okay, let's actually, I don't know, I usually don't really do flip throughs at the end of my videos, right? Because we always do the um, two bi yearly um, flip through, but just to kind of get a feeling. I love it so much. I'm so obsessed. And I, I mean, I knew I was going to love a mini binder, but. I feel like it's just, it's, it makes me so much happier than my nine pocket. It's so much nicer to flip through. Um, let me actually run right now and order more. And maybe next time we will try some potentially bigger pages, you know, just pages that fit some bigger inclusions. We'll just try it and we'll see. Uh, I feel like there's also, you know, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Prism Platinum. Um, and they make mini binders as well, but mini binders that are bigger than this binder. And they make a lot of like uh, custom pages as well that will specifically fit mini photo cards and stuff like that. I feel like I'm very willing to try that as well. So, you know, many options and many things to try in this new year. But I think for now, I'm just going to end this video here. Um, you know, I'll just take all this stuff out and think about what to do. And uh, we'll, you know, we'll talk about that next time I work on this binder. Um, I think I talked about mostly everything that I wanted to in terms of my goals as well. Again, I just don't feel like I even have that many goals. It's really mostly buying less stuff, focusing more on what I really want and what I really like and what really makes me happy, uh, starting Le Seraphim and just focusing more on rare Monster X cards. That's really it. It's really simple and I can't believe I talked so much about those simple goals. But yeah, that is it for today's video. If you watch this entire video and listen to me ramble about who the fuck knows what, Thank you so much. It really means the absolute world to me. And I am really excited for what this year will bring. Um, and I think that this is a really good and happy start to that. So yeah, again, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I will see you with another video very soon. It's so much easier to lift these up as well. Bye. <laughs>